With recent advancements in genetic engineering, the reality of creating your ideal baby is closer than ever before, if you wish. While controversial technology could help prevent a baby of having certain genetic defects, critics are saying the implications could have a far worse effect on society. RT's Trini Chavez brings us the story. If you're a potential parent planning on having a baby, you might be able to use genetic testing to choose your child in what some are calling a designer baby. But as technology advances, soon parents might even be able to choose embryos based on what sort of hair color or eye color they want their child to have, sparking both moral and ethical concerns. <laughs> Prospective parents already use DNA testing to check for potential genetic abnormalities that could lead to serious conditions. While critics say the manipulation of DNA poses huge ethical and moral concerns, the method is garnering the support of lawmakers and medical experts. Dr. James A. Grifo of NYU Langone Hospital told RT, Please imagine yourself carrying a gene mutation that has caused your baby to have a horrible disease and has caused your family a great deal of suffering. Then imagine the treatment for this being described as designer babies by people who have never had that experience. Perhaps some empathy for those poor suffering patients and for those of us who struggle to help them could result in a better description of what we are doing rather than some theoretical misuse of the technology that we are developing. In July, the UK Ethics Council calling the practice morally permissible as long as it's in the best interest of the child. But as technology advances, others worry that we may be able to also learn about characteristics that have less bearing on the future health of the child and more on the physical and intellectual traits. You also get into issues like, is it ethical to want a, a child with blonde hair blue eyes? Maybe, maybe not. Is it ethical to want um, a girl over a boy? Is it ethical to want somebody taller versus somebody shorter? You know, and, and so, but the, the, the list can keep going on and on and on. So where do you draw that line? The late Stephen Hawking believed that the advances in genetic science could lead to an elite class of physically and intellectually powerful people if rich people chose to edit their DNA and manipulate their children's makeup. Well, I mean, do we really want a world in which everybody is the same? The John Hopkins Genetic and Public Policy Center, which contacted over 6,000 people through surveys and focus groups from 2002 to 2004, said, in general, Americans approve of using reproductive genetic tests to prevent fatal childhood to disease, but do not approve of using the same tests to identify or select traits like intelligence or strength. While some reproductive medicine experts say that the method could be revolutionary, others say that society isn't prepared for the breakthrough. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.